What is going on, my everything? It is your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you so much. And I know all your dreams is um, manifested. Damn. I was supposed to say I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. But, baby, all your dreams is manifesting. <laughs> and that's why you should believe they matter. All right? Wow. Archangel Michael and the Lekwa, please protect me. Protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear all my chakras as we tap into this new beginning for the collectives. All right? It's like you opened up a portal. Like whatever you did, you opened up a new beginning. You opened up a portal. This was your will. This was the action you've taken. All right, with this number two is giving high priestess energy. So the way you opened up this portal is through sacredness, keeping your temple and your body sacred. All right, we just entered a new moon phase. All right, and this new moon is in Pisces. So you, you've opened up a portal for this new moon. All right, and with this portal you, you've opened up, you're being offered a fresh start. There's a new journey that is beginning for you. All right. This is like the first steps towards something new. All right. Um, this is a celebration. For some of you guys, you're going to be walking into your new home, walking into a new career, walking into just newness. All right. So there's something very incredible that's happening. And even romantically for some of you guys. All right, that's this new moon energy is inviting you to. Okay. So, y'all, think about what portal did you want to open up? You know what I'm saying? What, what was you doing to achieve this successful time in your life? What did you overcome? Because right now you're feeling a lot of joy and pleasure. All right, a lot of you guys, all your requests are being fulfilled right now. So when this new moon and when a new moon appears, you know, in a lunar cycle, we are gifted with a lot of new beginnings and a bunch and a burst of abundant fresh starts from after sowing so much seeds. You know what I'm saying? And when the full moon comes, that's a time for us to recuperate, rejuvenate, see and get grounded What's being illuminated to us so that way we could release. And then the new moon, right? We done did all of that work and now we receive. So whether you're asking for a fresh start in a relationship or a new love, or whether it's a fresh start in an intention in a new career or whatever, all right? A new business, a new project, all right? This new moon is assisting you right now. Like telling you, here you go, just walk through. All right, so expect this week to be very different for you guys. All right, like doors being open, windows of opportunity, okay? Winning consecutively. All right, also, a lot of creative people is going to be starting new projects with you or wanting to work with you. All right, um, so your social status will be changing. All right, so new moon energy, new beginnings. All right. Maybe you, you opened up a portal on a new moon. Look, there you go. You are in full contract with the universe, baby. All right. Fully in the energy of giving and receiving back to the universe. Okay. So the universe and the world and the people that you're serving right now is, is conspiring on everything you want. You are in full partnership with the universe. Literally, you got a direct connection to source. All right, you're bringing things from the unseen to the scene. You're attracting, okay? You're magnetizing things in at a grand scale, all right? So you're in the energy of accepting a lot. Like you're accepting a lot of gifts. You're accepting love. You're accepting generosity. You're not closed off to that no more, all right? One wrong relationship, one job, one wrong job, one, one wrong friendship does not validate what you are accepting now you are accepting abundance right now 
because you're accepting it from the world. You're accepting it from your energy. Like your vibration has changed. Your conscience changed. All right. So yeah, get ready to accept and receive because you opened up a portal. Like don't this look like you opened up a portal where there's no more blockages from what you are wanting to pull from the cosmos, right? Because you're finally energetically aligned with what you want. And that's why it's so easy for you to access your imaginations. That's why it's easy for you to really, really create. Okay? So get ready to accept a lot of gifts, a lot of love, a lot of offers. All right? A lot of people coming in and wanting to court you. A lot of friendships. A lot of donations. Okay? Get ready to accept because it's here. It's here. All right? This is a whole bunch of life force energy too. You've been accepting a lot of high vibrational energy. You've been putting a lot of high vibrational energy out into the world. All right? So karma is simply the results of one's actions. And when you move it correctly, all right, we're not scared of karma. we like, when is this karma coming back around? You know what I'm saying? It's right here, baby. It's right here. Direct connection to source. Direct um, connection to whatever you want. And number four is stability. All right, number four is stability. Okay? It's about you've accepted your current situation. All right? And right now, the past does not exist no more in your future. And that's how you was able to let go and trust in the divine. Okay? You, have ex you chose to accept yourself fully. You chose to accept the position you are in life and where you're trying to go. And you enabled yourself, you know, to take the right steps towards growth. You planted your feet in solid and in fertile soil is what I'm seeing. Okay? So, like, anything you touch, you receive. You got the magic touch right now. All right? So, accept that. Spirit, give me more on this energy, please, for the collectives. Balance. Hear no evil, see no evil, and it will not be next to me. All right? It is not near me. Okay? You brought balance back in a situation. And it's looking like from an ancestor. It's looking like from a matriarch, maybe a mother or a grandmother. All right? This energy has been balancing your divine feminine energy, your intuitive side. All right? Your fears, your subconscious. All right? Being able to be balanced in your subconscious and your conscience. Like, you got to be able to be in between worlds. You got to be balanced in that. Okay? Knowing how to tap into something spiritual, but also knowing how to be in the physical. Knowing how to dream big and have so much high hopes, but also knowing how to act on those and bringing those dreams into reality. It takes balance, baby. You connecting with source. All right, your solar plexus. All right, being recharged with vitality. All right, resting, recuperating, taking care of yourself. All right, so you're in alignment energetically with whatever you've been magnetizing at a grand scale because you're balanced. You're not overworked or undervalued. Okay, so yeah, new beginnings is here because you're balanced. All right, your balance in between worlds. You know how to tap in and tap out. Okay, hunger pains. All right, thirst for knowledge, thirst for wisdom, thirst for succeeding. All right, it's your instincts that you're following now, your intuition. Okay, you're tapping into your animal instincts. Okay, feeling more. Being guided by the moon and, and the stars and the suns and allowing those to assist you on your journey. So your intuition and your instincts have guided you to this new beginning. 
your hunger and your thirst for knowledge and not giving up, all right, your thirst for persevering and running with the wolves, you hear me? Then got this portal open, open for you, all right? Your solar plexus, like, think about a wolf. You see that yellow? And you see that yellow right there? That's, that, that's our solar plexus. That is where we recharge as, all right? Like a battery. You know how when a battery is drained and we, oh, any battery got to be recharged. But our recharge energy comes from the sun, comes from source. A lot of you guys been sunbathing, all right? But your thirst for success, your thirst for heightening and amplifying your instincts, all right? And just knowing has created a monster is what I'm hearing. All right, you're fully balanced and your capabilities and what you know you are able to do within and reality, okay? You choosing your battles wisely and you're rolling with the wolves right now. And that's your ancestors. That's your spirit guys. That's, that's you. That's you. I'm hearing you a whole army by yourself as long as you tapped in, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, your new beginning is this is well earned and deserved success because of your hunger to succeed and not give up on yourself and not fold on yourself, even if it was by yourself. It's looking like you made it to the top. Hello, baby. Where, where the other wolves at? All right, I'm hearing you was around wolves and sheep's clothing. You hear me? And you was the real wolf. Spirit, give me more on this big, new beginnings. Pleasure. Bitch, you are in a state of serenity. All right? When I tell you it's milk and honey, it's nothing but fortune and fame. All right? It's nothing but joy and pleasure that's bringing in a whole lot of victories, a whole lot of happiness. You removed all negative energy, baby. Okay? You are vibrating at your God-like frequency. Look, look, you, you up there with the moon and the stars, baby. That's how you vibing. There's nothing... That you're being deprived of, body. You are one with the universe. Look at you. You're not the... You are the universe. You are mother. Like, y'all got a deeper understanding and connection of who the fuck you are. You done tapped into your God-like frequency. You are no longer feeling different or feeling... You know, detached from the universe. You're noticing that you are the universe and everything you conspire in this universe you have because you are one with it. It is your birthright. So you are reaping nothing. There's, you have opened up a portal of new beginnings to your pleasure. So this is like your material, all right? Your foundation, your cars, your house, your, your, your clothes, your career, um, your family, things like that. You have entered a season of pleasure. All right. Spirit, give me more on this acceptance. You finally accepted help from source. You finally let go and let God. Uh, willpower. It's your solar plexus. It was your ability to know how capable you are. It was your ability to know how strong you are in the spirit. Okay? You allowed these moon cycles to guide you, baby. Something came in full circle now. All right? You're like a moon goddess. All right? You are finally this. You're, 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 you became the universe. I don't know how to say it. Like, you became, you are the universe. Like, you're no longer apart from the universe. Like, all of your materials, look how, look how beautiful you look. Look at your dress. Don't that look like the universe? Like, the reason why you're drawing so much in um, my everything, excuse me. The reason why you're magnetizing so much in because you no longer feel separate from earth. You no longer feel separate from the richer things in life and, and the nicer things in life. You don't, you no longer feel separate and you no longer feel like you need to be deprived of those things. All right? Your self-worth, your character, your values have amplified. Okay? 
You're working with the moon and the stars. You're working with the earth. You found a deeper connection to source where you're able to create. So you're not waking up sad no more. You're not waking up angry. You feel more energized. You're taking care of your health. This is a part of the game. You done switched. This, you done, this is a reset. The reset button has been hit for your life and pleasure. You are no longer separate from the universe. You are finally one with the universe. And when you are finally one with the universe, I know it seemed crazy. It, it seemed cliche, right? Uh, one with the universe. No, bitch. When somebody's one with the universe, because I'm one with the universe. And I know if I'm one with the universe, I know when I see somebody else one with the universe. You are one with the universe. You came in full partnership with Source. And when you do that, all right, again, the universe and the world that you serve conspires on your behalf. All right, and that's why a lot of us is living privileged right now. All right, rent fucking free is what I'm hearing. Y'all about to live rent free, okay? And now you're finally accepting that good stuff. Before y'all was in a state of mind where y'all was too independent. No, y'all accepted all of that good stuff right now. All right, receiving all of life's pleasure. Look, what I just said, you was resisting that first. A lot of you guys didn't want to leave a lot of people behind. A lot of you guys was trying to grow in areas and communities and around certain people where you felt it hard to be you. So you grew as much as you can. All right. This is you saying, you know what? Fuck that. All right. I'm no longer resisting and I'm being thirsty and hungry for knowledge. Hungry for whatever I desire because I know I'm capable of that. And I'm, I'm tired of straining. I'm tired of growing in the concrete jungle. I'm, try, I'm tired of growing around people that is resistant also. All right? So that's where you had to find balance at. You know, roll with the rules or get ran over type of energy. Like, trust your instincts. Okay? Look what fell, y'all. Look what fell, y'all. The unexpected is happening. What did I say? You done opened up a portal. Y'all, whatever y'all did on this new moon, y'all done literally, physically opened up a portal. And look at your guys on the other side. Because what I'm seeing right now on my table is that you're pulling things from the unseen to the seen by being one with the universe. Literally in pleasure. Like right now, Every day is pleasure for you guys. Y'all have nothing to worry about. You know, so look at your guys on the other side in the spiritual realm and the unseen looking at you like, yeah, baby. All right, you ready for this unexpected shit that's happening? You hear me? They was waiting for you to open up that portal of pleasure and abundance. You had to learn, baby. And what's going on is because you've opened up a portal of pleasure and abundance, that means... That you have entered a season of overflow. You've entered a season of lightness on your feet. You've entered a season of being very privileged in your assets and resources, baby. Well, you ain't going to have to do shit. You won't have to get comfortable with not doing shit and still having your needs met. So look at them. They laying on each other. The one is resting on the other one's shoulder like, damn, my person finally opened up this portal so we could do what we need to do. It's like you opened up a portal to bring forth heaven on earth, baby. So expect the unexpected because the unexpected is here. With this portal that's open, this new moon energy, baby, you no longer resisting. You was trying to grow somewhere where it was, it was so hard and challenging. Okay, look, drastic motherfucking change or radical is giving me Uranus energy. Okay, because Uranus governs Aquarius. This is giving me drastic change. And I feel like you going with the motherfucking flow. You hear me? Look, fruition, y'all. You went with the flow. You released. This probably was a fucking tower moment before you was able to open up this portal. And bitch, look, everything coming to fruition. Everything. 
every fucking thing. You hear me? Bitch. Everything. Anything that you... It's something about your mind. All right? That's connected. So, be very mindful, Ashe, about what you're thinking about. Because everything, anything you put your mind to right now is, is coming into fruition. That is the portal you open it. It's like... You know, you're not going to have to think twice, y'all. This is what I see. This is a new beginner for you guys. Like, and look, they so happy that you finally tap into the unknown of what you're capable of. And stop dimming your light. Or stop, stop, stop belittling, belittling yourself on what you can really manifest. Bitch, look at you. It's something about your hair growing. Y'all, your hair is growing, your ideas Everything in the mind, everything from, from the neck up is good. <laughs> Has amplified, bitch. And you're being, uh, everything's blossoming. Everything, your mind, your learning abilities, your wisdom, your skills, your ability to love, your ability to, to show willpower with your creativity and what you can really bring in. Like, everybody want to be a millionaire, but people really feel like they can't be a millionaire or they got to sell a soul, you know, or do things that's not liking or authentic. No, you could be real, baby. You just got to become that version of you. Because that version exists. Why you think we want to be that? So, baby, watch out. You have opened up a portal to this new beginning and everything. Y'all, y'all know I don't lie. Everything that you put your mind to is coming into fruition. And this is for my everythings that's been doing the work. This is for my everything that's been really, really sacrificing, but also not just sacrificing. Learning how to sacrifice, but also not always have to sacrifice. You know, like life ain't, ain't just ain't about sacrificing. Life ain't just about meditating. Life ain't just about praying. Life ain't just about manifesting. It's about experiencing and going out there and fucking shit up and learning from that. How else? So I'm speaking to somebody that learned the balance of spirituality and practicality and in this in this physical realm you can't always be in a spirit realm you can't always be having your head up in the clouds you can't always be in the house manifesting you can't always be in the house praying how are you living how are you living and i feel like this new day and age of what people consider spirituality. I'm looking at my crow right there. But this, what, what, what people consider now is like, y'all, our ancestors were party fucking animals. Our ancestors were fucking thugs. Our ancestors had babies. Our ancestors fucking, our ancestors doing all of that and above. Okay? But we now are able to do it in moderation. So... Don't lose yourself in this journey. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't lose yourself in this spiritual shit. You know what I'm saying? You still have to live. And that's why it's very important to find who your God is and who you are. You know what I'm saying? Because once you do that, you're no longer going to feel judged by things that God is not judging you for, bitch. We judge ourselves. So... Child, everything is coming into fruition because you're no longer having your heads in the clouds. You're no longer just doing kumbaya. You're living, bitch. You living. All right? See, the problem is a lot of us is just claiming and reclaiming our ancestral trauma and wounds. Bitch, somebody on this table is claiming your ancestral strength and fun back. Okay, so yeah, everything coming into fruition. Look, you filled in that void. What I said, it was a void that needed to be filled in. And guess what? Stop fucking dreaming. You see that void? All right, so the void is basically that unknown space that we are able to work with. It's that unknown. You know what I'm saying? So in order for us to tap into that unknown we got to learn how to imaginate. We got to learn how to be conscious with ourselves. We got to learn how to tap into that dreamy-like state to, like, think about it first. 
Like, think about what we want to create. And once we do that, then we start getting to work. But a lot of people just stay in the dream. A lot of people just stay in a dream, y'all. You chose to, you know, everybody want to live um, the American dream. But you realize that the American dream is being lived with a lot of people being asleep. I see that you are living the American dream. Woke the fuck up from your motherfucker. Don't this look like the mask that you go to sleep with? Now you, 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 the veil is off. There's no veil over your eyes. That shit is thinner than a motherfucker. You hear me? You are the guardian of the veil. You grew, okay, by filling in that void. And the way you did it was by being thirsty and hungry for more. All right? Manifesting with these moon cycles. You know, healing your subconscious and fears. But also, living, bitch. Okay? Being edgy. Living life on the edge rebelling okay because you know your god so yeah bitch everything is coming into fruition because you felt that void okay you felt that void a bitch creation this is the blueprint all right this is the mark of your blueprint you back on track baby you back on track with what you signed up for you back on track with your journey and what was written in the stars for you this is the blueprint baby you back all right to the original plan you tapped into your God-like frequency. Your ability to create is out of this world. All right? Your ability to create from nothing, start from scratch. This is the blueprint. All right? You created a whole fucking new blueprint. All right? Because you have the ability to create your motherfucking life. And you filled in that void by creating your life. All right? This is the blueprint. All right? So I love you guys. Wonderful reading. And I hope that helped you guys.